Today I have a uh, different kind of review than usual. I have, this is actually my first time doing a review like this. This is a software review, and more particularly, it's an operating system. So today I have Windows Home Server 2011. Um, overall, I had an older version of it, and I upgraded to the new version. As far as the positives go on it, I'd have to say that the install of the software from the CD to the home server is rather easy. I like the fact that you're able to back up all your computers and then restore them from a disk without using the operating system. You can put in a whole new hard drive and just let it do it over the network itself. Um, I also like the fact that it supports XP, Vista, and Windows 7. I'll, and of course... They've also added in Macs to this version, so you can hook up any Mac that's uh, OS 10.5 or later. Now, it as far as positives go, that's about all I really have for it. As far as the negatives go, I have a long list. Starting off with the fact that how good is it really if you can't connect any of your computers to it? I was able to connect one out of my five computers, and that one computer happens to be a Mac. And unfortunately, I don't have time back time machine back backup configured on that, so I can't even back that up to the server. Um, the other four of my computers are Windows XP and Seven. I couldn't get any of those to connect without doing a full restore of the OS, and I don't want to do that to all my computers. So, what good is a Windows server gonna be if you can't connect any of your computers to it? You can't access files and save files to it and you can't restore a computer from it because it doesn't have the backups. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything real positive of it other than the fact that it's another operating system from Windows and like about half of them it somewhat works. I worked for about a week trying to get the software to install it and I worked literally till 2 a.m. in the morning most days, and I could not get this software to install. It is just ridiculous. I've changed my network configuration. I've changed stuff in the registry on the computers, and I just can't get it to install. So it's hard for me to give it a positive review, and I'm not going to call this a positive review at all, but I'm going to go into the one computer I have working, that's Windows, and show you what you can do with this. So, I'll pop you guys off the tripod and we'll go over there in a minute. So, alright, so now that I'm at the client computer that I've installed on, for this one I actually had to do a backup. Look right over here, here's the little launch pad that comes with it. This is the one I have the software working on. You got a backup icon, remote web access, and shared folders icon where you can access all the folders on the server, and then dashboard. Which when I open that up, we'll zoom out here. Let you sign in so that you can uh, access the administrative side of things. So I can definitely say that I would uh, not recommend this product to any of my friends at all, being the fact that I spent $124 on it and it doesn't even work. Kind of really annoys me a lot, and um, the amount of time I put into this is ridiculous. Overall, I'd say this is a failed operating system and that it would be good if it were in beta and they just didn't give it enough time. Total between the beta release and to when they had the final, supposedly, one working was a total of all of one month and in that time I don't think they got everything working. And I know a lot of people would say, oh, well, it's just your computer. Well, when it's five different computers doing the same thing, well, four, I should say. You kind of start not to believe that. And I know other people would say, oh, it's something with your network, but I've bypassed my router altogether, and I've hardwired everything, and it still, still won't install. So there's clearly something in the software connector or in the operating system, and I've tried reinstalling that. So I'd have to say this is one that I would not suggest getting, and I'll let you guys know at a future time if I am able to get my computers working. Don't forget to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.